Hey everyone, wanted to make a quick video discussing the HDU visor mod for the Lift AV1 helmet. Um, this mod should address issues people are having with the Lift visor here, seen on the left uh, helmet here, um, pop up during uh, you know heavy outside aerobatic work, so high negative G stuff. Um, you can see the HDU visor here on the right. Um, both of these helmets actually have the HGU mod. I just put the stock lift visor back on the uh, the white helmet so you can kind of see the difference between the two. Um, I will say this will uh, this will void your warranty with lift if you uh, do this mod, so proceed at your own risk. Um, but I think this will address for a few people the, the issue of the visor popping up. Um, and the main reason for that is the elasticity of the strap. Uh, it's this, this, this strap, in fact, the visor, I actually really like the, the lift visor. They're really clear. Um, it's, it's clarity wise and quality wise. It's a great visor. And for nine out of 10 applications, it, you're not going to have any problems. So don't think that you need to buy the helmet and then immediately modify the visor. Um, cause you, you probably won't, uh, especially, you know, anybody that's not doing aerobatics. You're, if you bought this helmet, cause you're, uh, doing backcountry flying or ag work or in a helicopter or anything like that, um, warbird. Um, where you're not doing, you know, heavy aerobatics, you're not going to have a problem at all. This this visor problem only applies to people doing heavy outside stuff. So, uh, you know, probably plus six uh, or high, or sorry, minus six or higher uh, negative G stuff. Um, it, this is kind of where that comes into play. Um, and really, it's it's because of the elasticity of this strap here. Um, it's just it's just softer elastic. It's it's meant to be um, more malleable and easily uh, pulled from the helmet and moved down over your face or pulled from your face and moved up. Um, the lift, I'm sorry, the um, the Aquila Optics HU visors um, have a, a much shorter elastic strap on the side. Um, this is all, this is pretty rigid. I think it's nylon, but uh, uh, it doesn't have a lot of elasticity, not a lot of give to it. So you can really tighten this visor down and have a little give so you can move it up and down but once it's down it really cinches down to the helmet and i think it really prevents uh the visor from uh, from moving up and down um and I'll, i will say i haven't had a problem with this uh visor moving up on me but i don't do a lot of outside uh, heavy outside stuff i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty much capped at <laughs> negative 4 g's I don't, I don't really go higher than that i don't have a need to so um i haven't had a problem with it but i know people have um who you know have hit their head on the side uh, of the canopy or have wobbled their head a little bit, um, have jostled this visor loose enough to, to come up. Um, and then I know people that do a lot of big outside stuff. So if you're pushing, you know, uh, negative seven, negative eight, you know, doing outside loops or or, or abrupt outside stuff, outside snaps, um, you could get this visor to flip up on you. Um, I really think that that problem gets solved with this visor here. Um, I'm gonna move the stock visor out of the way here. And I'll move this one down so you can kind of see. Um, even I have this as loose as it can possibly go, and there's just not a lot of give out. Um, you can see that the elastic uh, uh, strap on the back moves a little bit, and that's really all you're going to get in, in terms of give. So when the visor is down, uh, you can see it contours to the helmet really well. Um, a little bit better than the lift uh, lift visor contours to the uh, the helmet, but it it sits on the edge roll edge roll really well on both sides. And that really acts as a as a, a barrier for movement. And you can see the way I I um, installed the the snaps uh, for the visor. It, it pulls the helmet. I'm sorry. It pulls the visor straight back or or pretty close to straight back. So you don't have the the visor wanting to be pulled in one direction. It just wants to be pulled straight back. So if you get that tight enough, it's really not going to move. And so I think this is a, a good mod. I know a few people have done it already. And, and like it. I haven't really talked to anybody that doesn't like the mod, but this is really where the mod's going to shine is, is for people that are, uh, you know, upper level competition and airshow pilots that, that need a visor to stay on. Um, and you'll notice I don't use visor stops on either of my helmets, uh, both the, uh, uh, the white one and the custom painted one. Uh, that's because when you lift this visor up, it, it really doesn't move. Um, and I can I can tighten the straps even more. I have it pretty loose, but and I always wear the visor down. So I, I'm never really in a scenario where I need the visor up. But if I move it up, I'm not. I've never had this visor come up on me uh, during you know kind of my normal uh, operations. So um, as far as installing the visor, 
Um, Gentex sells a, a, a button snap kit. Um, you can see right here and here. Um, all I did was was just basically measure, uh, or I eyeballed one side and then I just measured off that and um, transferred it to the to the other side. Uh, so that's, re that's really all I did, it's pretty simple. I'll put a link uh, in the description for the, uh, the button snaps. Very simple mod, very easy mod to do. And I think it's pretty effective. It's if you already have a helmet and you're having problems with the visor, it's cheap enough to buy an Aquila Optics visor and and this mod and the snaps and do it. You know you're all in probably 175 bucks. So it's worth a shot before you know taking more drastic measures. But uh, uh, short of a fixed visor system on a helmet, this is really the uh, the next best option. Um, I'm not sure when Lyft is coming out with their. Uh, their fixed option, but it it looks really nice. I think it's going to be really nice. I, um, I think the only the, the only concern I have is going to be clearance in tight cockpit. So if you you know you fly an S1, you really want to want and need a, a low profile helmet, and that might cause some clearance issues. Um, I, I'm relatively confident that I'll have no problem in the uh, the uh, midwing 300 um, two seat extra cockpits and canopies are pretty roomy, and I'm pretty short so. Um, shouldn't have a problem with that, but you know, if you if you're looking at already an inch of clearance with your helmet, you, you might be you might be pushing it. I don't think it's going to be quite an inch, but you're going to be you're going to be pushing a half inch, uh, maybe three quarters of an inch more clearance with that that uh, fixed lens uh, fixed visor mod uh, that Lyft is coming out with. So, any questions? Uh, hit me up.